Hey, hey, here in the kitchen with Easy Jeezy. Man, this is a spur of the moment video, I'll tell you. And this is not a how to or a what for or anything else. I'm just going crazy here. Uh, I like cooking with cast iron. I'm getting ready to go on this trip and I'm planning out, uh, get, trying to get ideas and try to come together with some things that I'm going to take on the trip. I, I really like cooking with cast iron. And I started to melt some butter right here, and I got this crazy idea. I was going to have some eggs, and I thought, you know what? You're going to be in this camper for an undetermined amount of time. You're going to be going down there to the sand dunes. You better try out some of this stuff here where you can make changes. So that's what I'm doing. And, and not only that, uh, I get up in the morning, and I, I check my channel for comments and try to answer comments and things. And while I'm doing things in the kitchen. A lot of times I'll be playing a video or I'll get totally distracted. First thing you know, it's noon and I haven't left the kitchen. I'm, I'm watching your videos and, and other stuff. And there's a there's a few outdoor channels that I really enjoy. It. I don't know why it happens to me this time of the year, but uh, it does. So at any rate, I don't even know if I'm prepared for this. This is a uh, dual fuel uh, Coleman single burner stove and I'm not sure how much his fuel is in there but I'd like to top it off and I can't get the lid going so I thought well hey I better just stop what I'm doing I'm gonna get some butter I'm gonna be in and out of frame here everything tastes better with butter right so what I'm gonna do is uh, see if this stove will light and I'm just gonna cook a couple eggs in a soup pan here don't look real high yeah this is camping in the kitchen at the stove and I got fuel I just need to need a little pressure looks like gotta adjust my carburetor here I'm running a dual Weber 44 IDF <laughs> yeah that ought to cook some eggs huh and this is a thin uh, Revereware copper pan. It's lightweight. You know, you see this stuff now. It's all, this, this used to be really expensive stuff back in the day. And it, this is handle heavy. Ooh. That doesn't even want to stay balanced up there. You may get to see a real mess here. So I put some butter in the pan and cleaning is always a big issue too when you're camping you know you don't have all the conveniences of home so I'm just gonna crack an egg or two here oh crud that didn't crack too well man that that pan just heated instantly <laughs> I gotta move fast gotta move fast and I got the heat up too high I'm used to cooking on that cast iron. I better turn this thing down. <laughs> what the heck? I wish, uh, wish I had some sort of a little toaster. It's nice to have a piece of toast with your egg. I should put a lid on this too. I don't know if this is the right lid, but it fits. You know what, before I go much further, oh my flame went out. I was about to turn it down anyhow. So let's turn that off, I can smell the fuel. I'm going to be doing this in my camper. <clears throat> Sorry about the voice. It's first thing in the morning. Like I said, this is just a... Uh, really didn't get all that much pepper in there. It looked like I was cranking it up. And those definitely got to cook longer. The trick is to have heat. Maybe I need to, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here the first time. For you young kids that watch my channel, <laughs> be sure to get your parents permission before you try this stuff at home.
Maybe I am losing fuel. Because I've got pressure now. <laughs> we may we may have some toasted eggs. Oh yeah, that don't sound good. When the lid starts jumping. That's too much heat. What I need is a is a plate. I got just the idea. Hang on. All right. This is off my hydraulic press. This is what I use when I'm working on transmissions to uh, put things on when I press them. And this could give me a better support surface. It's definitely going to give me. Uh, a little different layer of heat. It should smell real grease good once that oil builds <laughs> on it. Oh, <laughs> you know there are a lot of privileges to being a bachelor. <laughs> so uh, what I'm hoping is that's going to give me more heat, because this is awful thin. This stainless steel. We'll see how this works out. We may doing be we may be eating more than two eggs here today, and I still got to figure out how. Forget getting them out of there with the, up the yolks being broke. I was thinking about if I put the butter in there, it would slather around, and then uh, I think I should have just given up and scrambled them first, huh? What do you think? Now, I got my little camp stove coffin pot, coffee pot here, and uh, I don't generally make my coffee in the traditional way. I've uh, somehow gotten hooked on this other setup. I know you can't see me, and probably not so exciting watching that, but I want to show you. I've been. <clears throat> I use these coffee coffee filters and do like a single serving since it is just me and it comes you have to buy this special little holder and you take your coffee filter only reason I'm showing you is there's some folks out there that may not have seen this you can just this whole thing sets on your coffee cup I'm not sure if you're in frame here or not what's going on oh my eggs are done <laughs> <laughs> Timing is everything, right? <laughs> uh, okay, wait, I shouldn't have shut that off. What I should have done, now this is too hot to touch, so I got to be careful and not touch that. And I want the heat faster. Boy, this is real. I guess I better take a welding glove along too, huh? Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh my gosh, turned up the heat. It's pretty hot. Uh, I need to take a towel or a hot hot plant hot hot glove. Whew. Rotate! <laughs> Boy, talk about being crazy and unrehearsed. It's like working on a Volkswagen. You just kind of, kind of feel yourself along here. So uh, I'm gonna take some. Uh, I'm gonna multitask. I'm gonna put some coffee grounds. <laughs> this is about what it's like when I'm camping too. Put a little bit of coffee grounds in there. Heat my water. Then all you got to do is just pour your water right in there, and you get yourself a cup of coffee. And if you're if you're quick, you might use it twice. That second cup won't be as good as the first. But I think that kind of is true with anything, isn't it? So you came to my channel to watch water boil. Now we got a nice flame. All right, now I got to figure out how to do this without burning myself. I'm not sure 
probably if I'm camping I'd use paper plates, but seeing as how I'm right here at home, let's see how hard it's going to be to get this uh, egg out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's there's your cooked eggs with a little pepper on them. I suppose I could eat them right out of the pan. Huh? What do you think? That might be the better thing. Just take a spoon. If we're going to batch it and you're cooking for one, that might not be a bad idea. And you know, then I could put some uh, oatmeal in here and I could put some hot water in there and I could have some oatmeal and eggs and that would sort of... Uh, <laughs> this might have been a bad idea. <clears throat> but this is the learning curve, right? Oh yeah. Oh, it's not so bad. Butter. Butter makes everything taste better. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's look at the other side of it. <laughs> oh, that's not too bad. Wow, might even have some yolk, soft yolk in there. How's my water doing? <clears throat> That's interesting how the flame's kind of orange. That's a cool little stove. And dual fuel means it'll run on gasoline as well as uh, Coleman fuel. Alright, I'm going to use a spoon and sample the eggs. Look at that, it didn't even stick to the pan. That, that's important, easy cleanup. Butter's the secret. Not bad, not bad. The oaks are hard. All right. I see the coffee pot is actually moving. Oh yeah. We got a boil. So now, we're gonna try to keep from burning ourselves up. What a cluster. Oh, yeah, it's hot. So what I generally do is I just pour it in there a little bit and it just goes <laughs> oh boy you never know what you'll find when you come to easy genies <laughs> I can't even talk this morning okay you can see down there in those coffee grounds <clears throat> The filter kind of gets in the way, and you'll see that the, there's a hole in the bottom, obviously, and it leaks into the cup, and presto changeo, you have coffee. So what I generally do, and I don't know what everybody else does, just give it a shot, but I kind of keep trying to wash the coffee grounds down. It makes it stronger. If you just fill it all the way to the top with water, a lot of the coffee grounds will stick way up high. So I'm trying to get more hot water through more concentrated coffee grounds. And it's really mild coffee, I'll tell you, it's good. It'd probably be easier to do a French press, but the French press that I have is uh, glass. And as you can see with all these metal objects and my clumsiness, that might uh, turn into a catastrophe. So now I can put uh, this out of the way. I like these kind of spatulas. <clears throat> Keep eating my egg in front of you. Actually, this turned out just fine. I think if I'd have gone the distance, so it might have burned the bottom and the top would have been runny. 
I think that piece of metal is a good idea. Probably anything. Just to spread that the heat out so it's not so intense. And that, you know, that wouldn't even be a problem. If I was using the cast iron cookware, and I've got I've got this little one. <clears throat> Two eggs would fit real easy in there, and I don't think you'd get a can of a can of beans in there. But, you know. Something to think about. It's not like we're going backpacking. We're just going to go uh, out to the sand dunes. Yeah, that's pretty good. I usually like to have a piece of toast, dunk it in the yolk. This is still draining, but my cup is pretty much full. That's done. So. Not bad. <clears throat> oh yeah. Oh yeah, just what the doctor ordered. Alright. I'm going to call that a wrap. This is a video. This is uh, an attempt at uh, camping. If you got any suggestions, uh, let me know. I won't have hot water in this camper. So I thought I'd take this big teapot along, and that'll fit up on here too, so yeah. I'm sure that uh, there will be some uh, unexpected purchases as I before I get home. Not bad. Not bad. Now just like in my garage, I want to leave everything out so I don't leave anything behind so hope you have a good day stand warm winter time a lot of parts of the country they do have four seasons I got snow on the ground thanks for watching thanks for subbing easy jeezy out